What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do a heart's desire reading for the sign of Virgo, okay? Virgo, you guys are uh, third this week on the Zodiac lineup. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Remember, you guys, that these are general messages, not personal, so take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? So let's go ahead and get into your reading, guys. We have one from the top for your present energy, one from the bottom for your past energy, okay? And then one energetically from the middle. I think I'm going to go here with it. One energetically from the middle for your future energy, okay? And then we'll flip to the bottom of the deck to see what the overall outcome is, okay? Hopefully you guys can see it. I try to make sure all of them are kind of in frame so that way you can see. Let me just do some adjusting here, okay? So let's see <clears throat> what's going on with you guys, Virgo. So we have... Seven of Pentacles for your present, the Death card for your past, and then Five of Cups for your future energy, okay? So, automatically, you know, the words that I'm hearing is like disappointment, looking at this Five of Cups primarily, okay, and could be because of this past and present energy, okay? So let's kind of get started. I try not to work backwards, but that was the first thing that kind of hit, so it was best for me to go ahead and get it out now, okay? So Seven of Pentacles is here. As you can see, this person is watering this palm tree. The Pentacles are on, on it, okay? Presently, you are trying to nurture something, okay? Um, or trying to maybe get something to grow it also speaks of longevity okay it's possibly some history um with something that you're trying to keep um afloat if you will okay so the moon is there so of course it is earth energy with that pentacles seven of pentacles um but it could be some pisces energy whenever i see the moon i'm like now starting to assume that there's some Pisces energy in there somewhere, okay? So, let's get to this death card for your past energy, okay? Um, <laughs> the death card in this deck is, you know, a little bit, um, does kind of take you aback sometimes, okay, when this one comes out, um, because it's very definitive, okay, <laughs> with the skeleton here in this pathway, okay? But death has, you know, more than one meaning, okay? Because it doesn't have to mean the end of something. It could just mean new beginnings. You have to look at things in a positive light. The death card is Scorpio energy, okay? So you could have Scorpio in your chart or have that energy somewhere around you, okay? So we won't know more about this until we get the clarifiers out. So next... Like I said, this Five of Cups, you can look at it in one way, um, but always with Five of Cups, three are up while two are down, okay? Um, or, well, actually three are down and two are up, okay? With this one, it is more so a sense of almost like an optical illusion, if you will, okay? But nonetheless, it is very uh, definitive that it's usually in reference to some form of disappointment, okay? Not defeat. Defeat is uh, the five of swords, okay? Um, because you have people, you have more than one person in that card, okay? And that's how I label that one as defeat. This one is in reference to disappointment because if you think of the regular writer's weight, there's someone in a cloak looking down at the three cups that are turned down while not being able to see that there's two cups behind them, okay? And so it's a form of disappointment because maybe there's something in particular that you want or have a desire for, thus this being your heart's desire reading, um, that 
did not work out the way that you wanted it to, but you're forgetting that there's two cups behind you, okay? There's still possibilities. Don't focus on the loss. Focus on what you still have and the possible gains, even if it's at the loss of something, okay? So with that being said, Virgos, let's look at the bottom of the deck to see what your overall outcome is. And wouldn't you know it? <laughs> Some positive energy, okay? The full card being here, okay? We're just talking about taking a leap of faith, okay? And is like the ultimate new beginning, if you will, okay? Whenever you take a leap of faith about something, um, it means that you are willing to open up to the infinite possibilities of new beginnings, period, okay? We're taking a new lease on life, if you will, okay? Um, appreciating things a lot more, okay, with this full card, all right? So with that being said, let's get into these clarifiers with the muse. Doing the same thing, one from the top for the seven of pentacles, one from the bottom for the death card, and then one energetically from the middle. It's definitely some new energy coming in on your reading, Virgo. Um, whenever it takes me a little while to find that middle card, I literally energetically pick the actual card that I want to put down for your deck, I mean for your spread, okay, out of the deck. And so that usually is a signifier to me that there's new energy here. So I welcome new energy. Thank you for your viewership. While you're here, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that way um, you can find out and know when I put readings out for your sign, okay? Um, Virgo, please, you know, and I, I hope you don't mind. Um, this is primarily for Virgo sun signs. However, um, there are other placements that possibly will come in as far as other Virgo placements. So hopefully you don't mind sharing with them, okay? So we have the seven of voices, seven on seven, okay, for your present, okay? Then we have the four of inspiration, all right? And then we have the six of materials, okay? So let's just go one by one. Seven and seven on top of each other, 14 equaling out to five. Um, it's talking about a couple of things. We're talking about change, um, if you will, being one. Then referring to that four is a form of protection, okay? And then one, intuition, okay? That's a, a good combo, okay? And I think this has happened either for you guys before um, or another sign from last month, okay? So with this seven on seven, it's a need for you to kind of have some inner strength as well, okay? Um, in reference to holding fast with whatever it is that you're trying to pursue or keep um, in rotation, if you will, okay? Something, like I said, that has longevity, okay? With the Seven of Pentacles being here. With the Seven of Swords, there's foxes here, okay? And maybe you're very cunning like a fox during the day, but at night, totally different, okay? So I really, I like this card. I like this deck, period, because of the imagery that's in it. But it's it's very, you know, I'm, I might as well go ahead and say it kind of self-explanatory, okay? It's like day and night with you, okay? With this present energy, okay? You're one way at night, and you can kind of see how she's a little bit more like goth in a sense, okay, including the foxes. And then during the day, someone totally different, okay, someone very enlightened, all right? So, and there's this pathway that leads to a door that is like right there in the heart space of the one during the day, okay? So that also tells me that you possibly need to make a decision on something and maybe avoid getting into that dark space too often, okay? So 
let's move forward with your past placement, which is the death card with the four of inspiration, okay? Four of inspiration is four of wands. Of course, everyone knows it as the relationship card or um, some form of union, okay? We have um, four women sitting kind of in a, a four point like triad kind of circle. Well, yeah, you, you get what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> but we have them sitting in a group here, okay? And so it could mean that in the past, there could have been possibly some endings um, in regards to some form of partnerships or relationships, okay? Things have changed um, in the past or did change in the past. Um, for what reason? Only you know, Virgos, okay? I'm not going to dip into that. Um, and we still have two more readings this week that may touch on it, okay? So... Some form of either in the past old relationships ending and maybe in this present energy, you're trying to hold tight to one last possible connection, okay, with someone, all right? Um, but your behavior or mindset changes ever so frequently, okay, within that longevity, of a relationship okay is what I'm feeling but in your past old friends um, have changed or maybe your connections have changed and maybe you've received some new um, partnerships okay in the recent past all right um, getting where you fit in for that all right now five of cups with the six of materials okay five of cups with the six of materials disappointment in the sense of possibly sharing in the future energy okay this future energy here of having some form of disappointment possibly um in sharing with someone because six of pentacles is usually talking about um sharing between two people okay or three um, in regular writer's weight, you see someone handing money to someone, okay? Um, six of materials is Libra in Taurus energy, okay? And so you could be struggling with sharing with someone in the future, okay? Um, it could be in a sense of finances for you, Virgo, um, maybe having to dish out a little bit more for something that you didn't really plan on uh, doing with. However, it is an investment, okay? So you kind of have to consider it in that sense in order for you to get over the disappointment of spending on something, okay? So that being said, let's look at the bottom of the deck so we can clarify this full card, which is here with the Muse of Voices. Muse of Voices clarifying the full card under the full card there is the six of pentacles again okay <laughs> but with the six of pentacles it's almost like uh balancing okay still taurus libra energy okay so you have it coming up twice between both decks okay so you're gonna have to spend something to get something okay that's what i'm feeling okay so with this Muse of Voices is talking about whenever, this is kind of like their minor arcana um, in this deck. And so it's mostly geared towards uh, that hope for something, okay? And so hopes for maybe some communication, okay, is what I'm feeling for you guys with this Muse of Voices, all right? You do have the Five of Materials, um, showing up at the bottom of that five of pentacles, um, usually it's talking about leaving someone out in the cold. Okay. And you may have to do that Virgo. All right. You may have to disconnect from someone. Okay. Um, and you, or you may feel at a loss because of how much you're having to spend. Okay. To do something. Okay. Your spending could be circled around travel. 
um, or it could be a very high purchase that's necessary, okay? Um, you can't avoid it, all right? You may have been trying to avoid it possibly, um, but it keeps on popping up, okay? So if it keeps on popping up, that means it is meant for you to actually invest in this purchase, okay? It's unavoidable. It's something that's needed, okay? So kind of when it comes to your finances, if that's what um, is resonating with you, Virgos, if that is the situation, then kind of focus on what your needs are, not what you want right now, okay? Um, there may be a possibility with this full card that you will have to take a leap of faith on something that may cost you, okay? So outweigh your options, okay? If it's something that is not only going to provide you with more of your possible needs because it's something that you actually more so want than need, but it may come out to be useful in the long run, okay? That is what an investment is, okay? So you have to be willing to do that. So I'm going to get into your heart's oracle. I'm going to just shuffle one more time before we cut to get your final decision and or advice. Okay. So Virgo, at the bottom of the deck, we have feeling alone, okay? Feeling alone, number five, okay? There's this person here kind of looking towards or being separated by this house over here, okay? And this open water, okay? With a lantern um, and standing alone, okay? somewhat in a sense, maybe possibly feeling a little bit deserted, okay? Um, possibly in a sense of, like I said, in this past energy, um, possibly some friendships ending, people going their own way. You have to understand also Virgo, people change, okay? Not only do people change, but you do too, okay? You've been going through some changes, obviously, okay? Um, and that is okay. If you're changing in a positive sense, then and you have to change in a positive sense while being very optimistic about your life. Thus, this full card being here, okay? Um, maybe wanting to make some new connections um, because of the fact that maybe all of those people that you know are actually very busy right now. And so that is life. You have to be okay with that, okay? And don't feel like you have to keep up with everybody. Um, just because everybody else is doing something, you feel like you need to be doing something. Maybe you've already done what you need to do and you're in this waiting process, okay? Things will happen for you in due time, okay? So it comes with the territory of whatever it is that you are pursuing, okay? You have to take that into consideration too. So let's get into the book so we can kind of read the messages that go along with this okay page 85 rest and reconsider is underneath the feeling alone okay so kind of take this time you know if you are feeling you know kind of left out okay take the time to reevaluate some of the things that you're actually working on okay um, there's no such thing I mean you don't want to be wasting time okay when there's open time open space just like in this card you take the opportunity to kind of reevaluate things okay reevaluate your own personal life things that you want to change there could be other projects you could be kind of you know revamping okay there's this is your free time okay your free time does not have to be uh used up by being around other people okay so 
use that time. You have the free time. You never know. People may feel a little bit jealous or envious of you for having so much free time because they're busy and they want to have free time too, but they have work to do. Okay. And so do you. All right. In other ways. Okay. Where we, where it may not be material, it could be more so uh, mental and emotional. Okay. So your keywords here are lack, abandoned, insecurity, and support. True love and emotional support may seem lacking at this time. This card suggests a period of feeling lonely or abandoned. You may think that no one understands you or your needs or even cares about you. Perhaps someone you turn to for support has deserted you or a hoped for love has rejected you. Your insecurities may rise to the surface to overwhelm you at this time. All that you desire may seem unattainable. Don't let your confidence be shaken. There are lessons in everything and know that this difficult period is only temporary. Your spirit guides and the divine support you. Talk with them about how you're feeling and what you need right now. Also seek the support of those friends and family who are there for you. Help is at hand. You just don't see it. Be careful because depression feeds upon itself. Lift yourself out of it by doing something physical. Take a walk, exercise, sing, or even volunteer your time. You will feel better and in doing so will attract happiness into your life. Okay? Again, realize that things are only temporary where they are now and take advantage of the time that you have right now. Okay? So with that being said, let's get into the power of surrender for your final message of support. Okay? One last shuffle. And then cutting by threes. So at the bottom of the deck, we have surrender resentments, real major new energy alert. Okay. First time ever this card coming out. Okay. Surrender resentments. Okay. So it says holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. Okay. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life, okay? We do have this fool card here talking about taking a leap of faith and hopes for, you know, communication in some way, okay? So do not resent people for not being around, okay? And don't automatically assume that people have just abandoned you okay or deserted you like i said people change okay people have lives to live you have to be willing to accept that okay um i wouldn't automatically say you know shortcomings of other people or forgive them for their shortcomings i don't think it's about forgiveness of shortcomings in a sense of if you feel entitled to people's time okay um, you have to understand that everybody works differently depending on, you know, again, what kind of profession you have in the profession of other people, okay? Um, if you are creative of some sort, um, your day is based upon, or someone who's an entrepreneur, your day is based upon your time and what you have and what you work on. If you diligently work for at least five hours of your day, on projects that you need to work on and the rest of your day is free, that's on you. But if other people around you work all day and are in the same profession, um, they may not work the same hours as you. They may not put in as much work as you, okay? Or vice versa, okay? Um, and I'm sure they don't hold that against you, 
okay? When you are busy, no one seems to treat you any differently or think any any other way about you if you're not around, okay? They know you have things going on and it should be the same way, vice versa, okay? We can't all be around each other all at the same time all the time, okay? People have lives. I that's my personal opinion. That's how I am. I am very considerate of other people's time, okay? I do not hold anything against someone only if I'm concerned about them, okay? Now, in the sense of, you know, if I haven't seen you in a really long time, of course, I'm going to get worried, okay? Especially if it's out of the ordinary, okay? Out of, or, out of ordinary change deserves some attention, okay? But if everything is still moving in the same aspect of communication and things of that nature, and people let you know, you may suffer for being for a little bit forgetful as well. Because, you know, most of the time, you know, depending on the type of people that you're around, they let you know when they have things going on, okay? And so there's never a time that you are out of the know. It could be a situation where you have forgotten something, okay, or forgotten that someone told you, hey, I probably will be out of town for the next two weeks, so I won't see you until I get back, okay, and maybe you forgot about it, okay, so don't automatically assume that it's other people's shortcomings, okay, and there should be no shortcomings involved, this is friendship, um, in a in tight connections, you should know each other like the back of your hand and not take everything so personally, okay. So with that being said, Virgos, that's all that I have for you guys uh, for right now. Um, we do have two more readings this week. So until then, peace.